Good morning, Internet Land. Jeff Kogi here, and uh, decided to make this video and talk about something um, which was really pounded in me for a very long time when I was growing up. Okay, is you may have heard the term "never put your eggs in one basket." All right. Now I started changing that type of theory and how I actually think about eggs and basket. It means that, hey, you don't want to do just one thing. You want to put things in multiple different baskets to making sure that, hey, you have a better odds of success or whatever, right? They kind of say that in the world of even um, the world of financial world, right? I was taught that when I was doing selling financial services where they say, hey, diversification. Put your money in multiple baskets so that way you have a much higher propensity for success. And they would say stuff like that, right? And then as I've gotten older, I've kind of gone the completely other way. And it all has to do with this particular gentleman. If you know who he is, super cool. If not, let me kind of tell you a quick story about him. Um, he's considered kind of the godfather of business management in the last century or so, okay? Especially after the 70s. And this particular gentleman name is Peter Drucker. All right, and if you don't know who he is, highly recommend for you to check him out, read his stuff, and uh, learn about him. And and I remember many many years ago, okay, um, I heard him say this in one of the books, right? And Peter Drucker says, "Hey, have you ever heard of uh, never put all your eggs in one basket?" Right? And then I was like, "Yeah, I've heard that before." And then and then he went on to explain. He says, "You know, I don't live by that." And what he said was he lives more by putting all of your eggs in one basket and then making sure that that is the right basket and you watch that basket carefully. And then as I'm hearing that, I'm just like, huh, that actually seems a lot easier to do than anything else, right? Putting your eggs in one basket and making sure that it is the right basket, right? So, so as I started following his uh, philosophy, especially in the world of business and marketing, things started to work out a lot more, right? So uh, personal development, right? I just try to put one basket instead of trying to learn multiple stuff. I try to learn one thing at a time and then start building on that. In the world of marketing, I said, hey, you know what? Let me learn this particular thing and I'll learn as deep as I can instead of trying to go wide. And hey, you know what? If this works, this is great, right? And then uh, same thing with my kind of my investing style, right? It's the same way as well, where I don't know if you see that chart right there, but that's a particular stock that I have uh, uh, kind of money in, right? And the reason why I have that in there is because it's tied kind of directly to the industry that I service and I do, which is considered to be the real estate market, right? I'm a real estate guy. I've been investing since 2004 in real estate. and. This particular stock is what we like to call leverage ETF, right? So it's a leverage, meaning that it goes up when the market goes up, right? So this one, uh, the reason why I put money in there is because, look, I'm bullish on real estate. So I said, hey, you know what? I got a little retirement account, a little money in there. So let me put some stocks and majority of the stocks in there. Right versus most financial planners will say, and look, this is not an advice for investing. Okay, disclaimer here. Okay, otherwise, uh, probably my attorney or someone out there be like, Jeff, 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 you're giving advice on invest. No, it's not. I'm just telling you a story here. Okay, is that my idea is this: is that if I'm bullish in a particular industry, let me place some of the stuff in there because look, if the real estate market does go the complete opposite, and it does, you know crash or whatever, then I have other ways to make money in real estate, right? So so this particular ETF is called NAIL, and if you look at the chart from like even January 2007, I think it was like 20, 25 bucks or 24 bucks or something like that, and if you wait until like December of 2017, that thing went up to 100 bucks, right? 100 bucks, literally like what? 4x your money. So if you placed 100 grand in there, it would have turned into 400,000, right? And it's like literally holds like stocks for like DR Horton, uh, Leonard Corporation, and big developers, right? So it's kind of, kind of, I've talked about in a different video where it tells you what's going to happen in the real estate market, right? So, so I have it in there. And then we've seen the kind of the dip on uh, the last several weeks or so. So I've gone in and bought more, right? So as I'm doing this, I'm watching, it's starting to go back up again. I'm just like, cool, okay? And it's because I'm watching the basket, right? I'm not trying to put my money in multiple baskets and then trying to see if it's a, one of those you know, eggs are gonna hatch. No, I'm simply focused on one basket and if it does go the other direction then I have other ways to uh, make money and I'll kind of end with this because uh, I got a text message um, from a gentleman named of uh, Montello right and he hits me up and you know like late last night he says hey dude you check out this particular lead I sent you 
And then I lost my phone when I was out in Houston uh, a couple of uh, months ago to check out what Harvey did and all the hurricanes did and stuff like that, right? So I was out in Houston, I lost my phone out there. So the text for whatever reason didn't transfer over. So I was just like, ah, you know, like, so, so he sends me this and, and this is where you put your eggs in all in one basket and make sure that it's the right basket, right? So he's, he hits me up and what he does for kind of a living is that he drives around and does like BPOs, right? Like drive by BPOs. And if you don't know what BPO uh, stands for, uh, stands for broker price opinion and he does drive-bys meaning like you're driving by the house to see what's the condition of the house and then like snap take a picture snap take a picture right is it vacant does it look like someone's living there find out what the condition right so that that's what he does so he does that throughout uh, Southern California okay so when I talked to him over the phone uh, I think many months ago I said hey dude if you got that man let's figure something out where we can do some deals together you know like clearly these people are in distress right and some of these people I've been told is that it's previously before for you know like literally a foreclosure has been filed against the property so the bank you know is just checking out what's the condition of it because maybe they have you know quote unquote missed a payment or two right they still haven't filed for foreclosure but still missed a payment or two right and then they're trying to see what the heck is going on so, so he's doing this and I'm just like, hey, let's figure something out. We can, we can put a deal together or something like that. And I think it's literally over a year. And he's probably still doing this because he hit me up late yesterday. He said, take a look at it. This particular one's in a gated community and I can't get in there. So I don't know what's going on. So he said, you should see, you know. And what's interesting enough is that how many times have we, like, and I do this, I'm not trying to be like, say, yo, I don't make a mistake, you know, is we try to put eggs in way too many baskets versus the basket maybe that we're currently in is the really good basket and we just don't go all in on it, right? Um, so again, like this particular guy, he's already doing that and then I don't know what he's doing on on and off times, but he literally might be sitting on some stuff, like if he wants to learn the investing game on stuff, the literally a tangible asset that he can use to not only help out these banks and lenders that are taking on, possibly may take on property that they have to foreclose on, but also help these homeowners that are in foreclosure or uh, are missing, you know, falling behind on payments, right? And so as as you go into the weekend to the next following day next following month right start thinking like that start thinking about hey do you have your eggs in way too many baskets cut one of those baskets out and then stick them all in one basket and make sure that's the right basket and you might be surprised how quickly that egg turns into a golden chicken possibly that's what I got for you Jeff go here love y'all take care and bye-bye